Hello, I'm Lee Natero, and I'm going to show you how to create a residual plot on the TI-8384 calculator. We'll also take a look at how to calculate S, or the standard deviation of the residuals. I've already entered the data for an example in List 1 and List 2. This example comes from the practice of statistics. We'll look at how non-exercise activity is related to fat gain. I've already calculated a least squares regression line using LINREG, and the residuals are automatically calculated and stored for us in a list called residuals. Let's take a look at our calculator. Here we can see I've already calculated my linear regression, and now if I hit second list, I can see that the data is already stored in this list called residual. If I hit enter, I can actually see the residuals in the list. I can see that some of the residuals are positive and some are negative. Let's actually take a look at a graph of the residuals. To get a graph of the residuals, I'm going to hit second stat plot, and plot one is already on, but I don't want the Y list to be list two, I want the Y list to be my list of residuals. So I'm going to hit second stat, and I'm going to get my list of residuals. I'm going to make sure I don't have anything entered in Y1, which I don't, and now I'm going to hit zoom option nine for zoom stat. Here I can see my scatter plot of my residuals, and I can see that the residuals have random scatter, meaning that a linear model is a good fit. Next, let's actually find the value of S, the standard deviation of the residuals. Since our residuals are already calculated for us, I just need to use that list. I need to first of all go to the home screen. I would need to sum the squared residuals, and to do this, I'm going to hit second stat, and under math, we have an option that allows us to sum a list of values. I want to sum the squared residuals So there's my list of residuals. I'm going to square them. And then I'm going to hit enter on that. I want to divide by the number of observations minus 2. And the number of observations we had was 16. So I want to divide by 16 minus 2, or 14. And then the last step to finding the value for S, the standard deviation of the residuals, is to take the square root of this. This value describes the average spread or typical spread in terms of the residuals.